All right, folks, this has just turned up, and that looks like a strap end to me. Yeah, I don't think I'll mess about with it too much. Oh, look, that might be a snake on the end, snake's face. Yeah, I won't bother messing about with that. That could be a Saxon strap end. Okay, well. It's slow today, but the finds are quality. Really, really interesting. A bit of silver on there, I think, still. All right, let's get that in the bag and we'll get that in the roundup. It's happened. I think it's happened. It's been tough going, but I've just made a right mess of this hole because I couldn't find it. But, uh, yeah. Can you see that? Ha ha ha. It's been a tough slog today. I mean, it's been absolutely tough as anything, but there you go. Let's see, shall we? Keep going. Little wiggle. Oh, I've dropped it. There we go. Fantastic. <laughs> Is it back on it? It's a little short across as well. I don't know who that's going to be of. You guys out there better uh, ID in coins than me. I'm useless. But as it's a short, short cross, it's got to be John, Richard or Henry, I think it is. So around the uh, 1190s, something like that. It's lovely. Look at that. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Get in. Get in. That's fantastic. That's made it worthwhile now. It's been a hard slog. But that, that is what I was on about. And that's what we do it for, isn't it? You know, I looked at these fields and I was like, oh, yeah. It, you know, this is, this is, you know, spot on. And I was finding nothing. I, it's been a tough slog. I've walked miles today. I'll have to look on my phone and find out how far I've actually walked. But there you go. It's paid off. Medieval. And that's, that's an old one as well. So, uh, yeah, if any of you guys out there know what this, you know, who this might be, uh, let me know. I'll, uh, Try and get a better close-up picture of that later on. But there you go, guys. That's what it's all about. Get in. Get in. Well, guys, I've already seen it. It was a scratchy one. It's only my third signal. No, I'll tell a lie. It's my fourth signal. Two bits of crap. A George Penny. And this. Can't believe it. I knew this field would be good. That would have been a beaut as well. That would have been a beaut. Right. Still got the mud attached to it. Sorry if there's any wind. The wind noise might be a bit annoying today. Let's just pull that off. Let's have a look. I'm well up there. Straight in. Oh, straight in. Uh, I don't know who that is. Who's that? That's weird. Not seen one like that before. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know who that is, guys. Perhaps when this video goes up, I will. Uh, yeah, is that red? R E D? It's not Alfred, is it? No, can't be. Well, okay, I am over the moon. A hammy is a hammy, and that was a big one. That is fantastic. That is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm really happy about that. I'm hoping I'm in the right spot. This coin, or half a coin, should I say? That seems to suggest I'm in the right spot, so I'm well happy. Oh, after the recent troubles I've had with my channel, this makes up for it, you know? Uh, some of you who've been following me know that I've had to restart my channel, but uh, 
this this is why I do it and I'm, I'm glad to share I'm just happy to share this with you guys <laughs> there are a few uh, a few outings where the hammy run uh, kind of uh, stopped and that's fine because for me I've never had I think I'd like six hammered coins in eight outings and that's never happened to me in five years of detecting so uh, so yeah I'm not moaning but I'm back on it today oh, I'm really happy well wait till I show my dad he got two in the last video <laughs> cool all right let's crack on shall we I knew I should have recorded this from the start, but uh, it gave me such a sweet signal, but I've been getting a lot of shotgun shells around here. Um, and yeah, look, let's just get on with it. Oh, that is lovely. That is wonderful. I've not seen that type before. Ooh, hello. Not seen that type before. Wow. That is in real good nick. I keep it, I hold it still. That's going to clean up the right beauty, that is. It's amazing how these things stay intact, especially on the, uh, on the arable with the plough going through. That is beautiful. The patina on that. So that'll be some kind of uh, fibula brooch. I was going to say trumpet brooch, but I don't think it's one of them. Like I said, I've not seen one before. So I'll be interested to look at my books when I get home. That's amazing. Um, yeah, anyway, it's getting a bit dark now. I reckon, I reckon I've got about an hour or so left. So, um, yeah, I'm just hoping I can sniff out a few more bits before I go home. Right, on to the next guys. Okay, I think I found something special here. <laughs> uh, have a look at this. Now that is lovely. Despite me not knowing what on earth this is, I don't know. I think it's. I don't think it's silver. Although, look, you can see silverish colour there. That to me screams Saxon, but I'm no expert on Saxon. I can spot Roman a mile off, but that to me is very unusual. Oh, detecting gods looking down on me today. I'm having to be very patient and very slow. I can't wait for this field to be turned. But yeah, I'm going to get that on Facebook. I have no idea what it is. So hopefully someone can give me some good news. Right, fantastic guys. I'm fine. I think that's Saxon, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with that for now. I could be wrong. You'll find out in the roundup, I suppose, won't you? But it was a good decision to come here today. That is wonderful. What a lovely piece. I don't know how close I can go without it getting too blurry. Wow, stunning. I have no idea what it is, but it's stunning. He's only Silver. gonna done it. This is gonna be hard. <laughs> this will be hard to beat today. Silver. We've seen it. It popped out. Fell back in the alt. Let's get a close up, shall we? But we know it's a hammy. We know it's silver. Jammy beep. <laughs> right. Jammy beep has got himself a hammy and it looks like I think that's, is that James or Charles I think it's James I'm not sure so look at the other side oh look at that nice one that's what it's about oh let's have a fondle <laughs> that is sweet that's a good nick as well that is oh man that's it the round's gonna be on me isn't it <laughs> the round's gonna be on me that is awesome I don't know how close I've been going this without it getting blurry, but wow, that's what it's about, guys. 
And to be fair, my dad has found naff wall today. A George III. Battered. Battered penne and that lead disc. Yeah, that's it. We've been here, what, three hours? Mm. And then he comes up with this. Bing. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm happy for him as well. Last time I came away with two silvers and I was saying to him, oh, it's your turn, isn't it? It's your turn. You've got to pick one up soon. And he did. He picked this one up all right. 66 on the uh, Deus, uh, on the Gary's Hot Program. Get in. Get in. That tiny little guy in there, look. Anyway, um, yeah, this just popped up. Now, I thought Roman brooch to start off with, but I'm not sure now. That is weird. That is strange. What is that? It's made of bronze. That's definitely a mystery item today. I don't think that's a brooch. What is that? It's certainly old, unusual. I'm sure someone out there will, might know actually. <laughs> I won't say I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, what on earth is that? Any ideas, people? Hmm. All right. Um, let's leave that there. And uh, if you do know, please leave a comment below. Thank you. Right, sorry it's not a uh, live dig or anything like that, but I just thought this was, I'm right next to the road, I, I thought it was just going to be modern crap. It's got some age to it. A bit of a wipe there with me. Two holes either side. Some sort of clip there. It doesn't appear to be broken. But it's part of something. Okay, guys. And it's on a postcard, please. Here she is, guys. Oh, the sun's just gone in. Oh, look at that. That is fantastic. Sorry about the wind. So, it could be medieval. I'm not sure. I thought. This one was uh, Tudor, and I've, I've found the pin before, and i found hoops before, but never complete. That is a beautiful. So that would have uh, held their robes on. Uh, so yeah, hard to date, but I think I'm right in saying it's either late medieval or probably, you know, Tudor, Stuart era. But yeah, that is fantastic. I love that. Fantastic, really happy. It's in great condition as well, that'll clean up really nice. Fantastic. That's what it's about guys, patience. I'm about four and a half hours in, finding, well I found a few coins and whatever, but that, that's stunning. That's what it's about, love it. Get in guys, it is a short cross. Look at that, it ain't a bad one either. Well up here. I've had such a good run of luck to the, uh, just recently. That is fantastic. Uh, looks like holding a scepter. So is it Henry or John? I don't know. I haven't seen one like this before. It looks a bit different on the back. That is fantastic, guys. Look at that. Hammered. Hammered. Silver. That's two bits of silver. I'm not even off the path yet. This is fantastic. Um, anyway, um, if this is like Henry or John, then it's got to be somewhere in the region of, is it 1190, 1200, something like that, early 1200s? That is fantastic. Oh, so glad they came out this evening. Fantastic. Here we go, guys. A bit scratchy. I've had a bit of lead. I've had, well, sorry, I've had lead quite a lot when I've been doing live digs, so. 
Oh, I'm taking a big risk. Here we go. Oh, there's a rock there. Ooh, very stony just here. There we go. Sorry about the camera work on that one. You know how it goes. Now that's interesting. Holy smokes. There's a bit more of it. No, there's no more in there. Oh, all right. Any more fragments of it? It's a massive brooch by the looks of it. Wow. It's got a pin as well. Okay, I've not seen one like that. It looks Roman though. Wow. This top bit's come off by the looks of it, just here. But yeah, somehow the pin survived. That is beautiful guys, absolutely beautiful. Oh, I'm loving that. There's another piece of it here. Look at that. I can't do it, it keeps spiking me. It's quite sharp. Uh, I need to check the hole guys, see if there's anything else in here. That is probably one of the biggest brooches I've ever found. How that has survived even in that kind of condition in the plow is beyond me. So here's the pin section. It looks Roman. I have to be very ultra careful with that. Um, yeah. <laughs> this field just keeps giving. Oh, I'm so chuffed to come here today. So there's two bits. Um, don't think there's any more of it here. If I move that just over there. I'll put that on top. Is there anything in here still? No, I'll give it a check anyway, but um, I'm not going to be able to show you much more of that, guys, until, until we get back and cleaned up. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right, I'm going to take that over to the car now before I break it. Right, catch you in a bit, guys. Right, guys, I've got another signal. I think it's another bit of that chain because only found the chain over there, so literally a foot away. So I think this is a bit of chain, but I don't know. We're in here. No. What's going on? What? No, it's definitely in here, apparently. Let's have a look. It's not in that bit, so it must be in this bit. Yeah, let's have a look. Oh my word. I knew I should have. Ah. It's okay. Can you see it? Well, semi live dig, I'd say. That is a coin. Ah. Broken. Ah, no. Okay, so that's the imprint. So we've got a bit of a broken coin here. What's, I don't know, silver. Oh, look. Yes. Wow. Yes, get in. Oh, what a shame that's broken. That is a silver Roman. Oh, we're on the good stuff today, guys. What a shame. 
What a shame that's broken. Maybe if I'm lucky, I find. Excuse me. I find the other bit. Now I'm useless at IDing medieval hammers and Roman coins, so hopefully someone in the community can tell me. Although I can see VSP, so is that Vespasian? Get in! Happy days, boys and girls. Happy days. Happy days. <laughs> Let's see if we can find the rest, shall we? Alright, next up guys, blew my ears off, right on the surface. What on earth is that? Dare I say, get you in the sun. It's got that lovely green, dark green patina. But I could not say I've ever seen anything like that before. What is that? Well, that is unusual. Okay, uh, if you've got any ideas, please post below. I may have found out by the time this video goes live, but at the moment, your guess is as good as mine. Hey guys, check it out. That's very easy. Oh, look at that. That is lovely. Oh, I'll show you something about the bin. That is stunning though. How nice is that? Right, let me uh, hold it still for you. It's a dolphin brooch. Look at that. That is lovely. That's not done bad. It's near 2,000 years old and it still looks like that on an arable field. Not bad, is it? That's beautiful, that one. Oh, I love that. Cracking. Let's see what else there is. Finally, two and a half hours in, the first decent something. And it was just like that, just sit on the surface. Okay, I really don't have any idea. That looks like lead and glass. Is that a gaming piece of some kind? That is very interesting. Can't make out much. Yeah? <laughs> Anybody seen anything like that before? Let me know. But yeah, your guess is as good as mine right now. Alright, we'll get that in the roundup. Alright, guys. I've uh, had to pop out, uh, pop out, uh, pop back and pick my son up, so it's the usual uh, football training day. And uh, yeah, uh, and I brought him back to the road field again, and his second signal, you won't believe it. Now, he doesn't like being on camera, so you know, that's why I'm showing you now it's Doug. So after football training, we like to, if the weather allows us to, we like to go and do an hour or so of detecting together. And uh, yeah, he's only got to pull this out of the bag. So that's one of the best Roman coins we've had off here so far. Not quite sure who it is at the moment. It's uh, it's a coin I've not seen before. But uh, very, very happy with that. In fact, that's probably one of the best Roman coins I've ever found. That is lovely. Uh, I, like I say, I don't know who that is. It's got a bit of a fat head. Look at the back on that. Look at that. I think this is an arable field. You don't get many Roman coins that come up like that. That is absolute mint. So we'll get that lightly cleaned up and uh, we'll get some wax on that. 
make sure we get a nice decent picture for you for the roundup. Ah, oh, over the moon, over the moon for the laddie as well. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, guys, here we go. 15. So 1550. I think that's 1573. So that would make it Elizabeth I, wouldn't it? Well, <laughs> I'm happy with that. I didn't expect that. I'm right next to a house estate. Loads of beer cans and whatever lying around. And then this. Just goes to show you. Here it is. Now that's unusual. I don't know who that is. Very unusual. Uh, it's uh, got some stars. So I thought, is that Scottish or Irish? And, uh, Tony's over, so I'll show him in a second. But yeah, any ideas, guys? I'm not sure on that one. What is it? No idea, oh, but lovely. Let me just pause it there. Catch you in a sec, guys. Here we go. Gold hammer. <laughs> oh, be lovely, wouldn't it? Uh, it looks like a little. Very small hammer. Small hammer. It looks like it might be an Edward or something, but it's got a little S at the bottom. Can you see that? Yeah. So yeah, I don't know what it is yet. Probably a farthing, maybe. Not sure. Half penny. But yeah, there we go. Brilliant. <laughs> Let's hope I can find some more today. See you later.